Bro, don't get mad at me if I ask this question, bro, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna ask anyway. Mm-hmm. That relationship with Wolf Vicky, was that real? Mm-hmm. Was y'all actually in a relationship? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, glad you cleared that up, because I don't know, for whatever reason, I just thought that was some publicity or something like that. Mm-hmm. But y'all was legit in a relationship? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people, what's the name? A lot a lot of people uh, had that same mindset. I don't know why. <laughs> Shoot, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fake date nobody. Right. <laughs> it happened, it happened. You know it happened a lot in Hollywood. Uh, but Sometimes people just put like relationships together. I ain't about to set no examples, but uh, you be seeing it here and there, like where they put two people together more or less. Yeah, you publicity know type thing. You get her fan base, she get your fan base. You put it together, y'all just go viral. It's a lot of people on YouTube and whatnot. They just Shoot. together. When our relationship went viral, well, I was scared. I'm like, I hit her. I'm like, boy, you straight? I'm like, well, not nah, girl. Yeah. I'm like, you okay? Yeah. She like, yeah. I'm like, oh snap! This John going, this John going wild. <laughs> yeah. It came out of left field. Like. <laughs> so, which, what, how, how did y'all did y'all plan it out? Y'all just made a video and just said we just gonna post it. Uh, no, actually, she made a video and posted it, and I didn't even know she posted it. I was going, I was going to post it on uh on my page anyway, but um, she made a video before I posted it, and I didn't even know, and it was going viral. I didn't even know. She beat you yeah. to the punch. <laughs> yeah, but what's the name? Um, I think we was talking for probably like a month or two uh, before. Um, I think like a month before I actually be my girl. Mm. But uh, I mean, I just slid in the DMs. Yeah, yeah, and started talking to her. <laughs> I see. Oh, what made me? What made me do that is because like, like before, I used to post like a lot of preaching videos, yeah. and I used to see her under it. She used to see her under it. So I like built my confidence to like reach out to her. Yeah. So I reached out to her and then we just started talking. Yeah. Was she I'm saved sure. too or she was Mm-mm. Oh, okay. I mean she still believed like she was still a believer. Yeah. Okay. But she wasn't really living, you know, like clean. Oh, okay. Yeah. How did that how did that impact you? Mm, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't good because uh I don't sound like a good mix at all. Yeah. Well, it's just because we're on two different paths. Right. It's like yeah. me, like I try to shy away from social media now. Like I don't post like that. Yeah. Like, at all. Right, right. But she liked to post. She liked to post. She liked to be on social media. And it's it's nothing wrong with that. If that's you know, if that's what you want to do and that's who you are, but it's just me, I just ain't want to be social media because it left me so traumatized. Yeah. That, like that's why I don't be on there. Like I don't like social media. Right. Like I just don't. And like today, like I I have all my social medias and I still like make an attempt to 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 get on there. But that's just because I have one job <clears throat> and that's to expand the kingdom and make Jesus name known. Yeah. And the only way that I could do that to today is like Social media. I mean, it's, it's one easy. It's an easier way for me. I don't necessarily have to do that on social media. I could just be in the streets with it. Yeah. But at the same time, bro, I don't know why, but people they just follow me. Yeah. You know, and uh, shoot. Um, <clears throat> since I have a social, I mean, a following, just why not use it for, uh, you know, give God praise and and share my testimony. Yeah. 